Do you have stress management techniques and regulating techniques to definitely to, to be able to breathe through the chaos of life? Yeah, exactly. When there's, there's a fucking pandemic goes on, can you keep your shit together and not spaz the fuck out in the midst of things and keep on your task, stay on your task, and stay disciplined? And that relates back to improvise and adaptation. Yes, because exactly. If, if you just go off your head, oh my god, this is happening, this is happening. Well, love. You got a big, you got a big going ahead of you just for the rest of your life love. because, love, sorry, love. But the thing is, look, you need to, you need to be able to deal with these issues. All right, something's going to come up. Don't sit there whinging about it. Show me how you're going to improvise, overcome, adapt to it. Exactly, yeah. improvise and overcome. Exactly, no it's like shit. it's not always going to be the best, like, but at least the effort that you tried and you did it is probably going to be better than someone who didn't. Oh, most certainly. Because you've done something. Something. It's done something. And doing something is almost always better than doing Taking nothing. Taking action. Right? Like, what is it? It's like motion creates motion. Right? Mm -hmm. If you don't move, the mind or the body... I think the, the, the best way to move the mind is to move the body. Yeah. Because oftentimes you get in mental rut. It's like, fuck. Shit. God damn it. Right? You beating yourself up. You down. You might be depressed. You might be anxious. Whatever mm. ailment you feel. Yep, yep. Man, and people get overwhelmed. And I work with people who get overwhelmed. I'm like, all right. I don't care how big or small the task you do. I want you to go outside, go for a walk in the sunshine. Five minutes. Oh, you can't do five minutes. Do four minutes. You can't do f do one minute. Like literally, it sounds almost disrespectful and insulting, but like where it's less about how much you've done and more about doing something. Exactly. Because you trick your mind. All right, shit, I did that. I'm going to do another minute tomorrow. Exactly. Another rep tomorrow. I love that because it's not always like, oh, what have I done? You know, I haven't done all these, these things here. It's like, hold on something. Have you done something? Yeah. Have you done something? Great, you won. You won the day. You won the day. I'm going to make a t-shirt like that. I say that all the time. You've won the day. I love that. Yeah. Yes. I say that to my clients. It's so like, just win the day. The whole day might go, because people were like, have unhealthy eating patterns. They beat themselves up. Mm. They're not doing the right habits they should. Okay. Yes, correct. What are you going to do? Well, okay. How are we going to win the day? Yeah. I want you to do something productive for yourself. Goal setting, writing a to-do list for the it. day. I love it. Do you do that? 100%. I was about to go back, to go to that. I'm sorry. I'm just getting me real excited. Yeah. What do you, how do you structure that for yourself? So what I do is, so I have a diary, right? Yeah. And I always... I tell you now, I always have long-term goals and there's short-term goals, right? And I think everyone's always stuck at this. They're looking at that long-term long goal yeah. every time. Okay. It's like, how are you going to win the day? Take it day by day. Yeah, I take my, shit. like, I know what's happening. Yes, within the weeks, I'm organized like that. But I'm always looking at how am I going to win this day? Am I going to put my full effort into this day? Mm. Because you can't put a full effort into a week when you haven't even completed that day. No shit. Exactly. Great point. So what I do is I write down what I want to get done. What is, what do I want to get done? And I make it realistic. I'm a very realist person. I don't mind dreams. I love that, right? But I have a goal setting that what I know I want to get done and what I know that it's achievable. Sometimes I put a little bit extra there, you know, whether I achieve it or not, that's okay. But I always put my goals out there, what I want to get done, and I, I, I take them off. Mm -hmm. I take them off during that. And there's the most satisfaction I get every day. That I, I feel like I've won the day when I've ticked off what I want. Mm. And so I... Sorry, you go. Oh, it's like a little dopamine hit, isn't it? It is. It's amazing. It's amazing. You write it down and it becomes... It becomes obsessive. You just want to do it. You want to write down something and you want to get it done. And the more you do it, I encourage everyone to do it, the more you'll want to actually achieve what you need to. Because if you just have it in your mind, mm. you're ne not necessarily going to want to go out there and go do it. There's no accountability. Exactly. Accountability. Yeah. I love accountability because you got to remember, you're accountable for your own actions and yeah. for your own you know, journey. 100%. It's like, yes, Corona came on, but were you accountable to improvise and start thinking about new ideas or get other things done, start learning? You know, that's what's gonna really change it. You gotta be accountable for the goals you set. You need to be accountable for the work you put in. And you and you always know, no, someone else might not know, but you know how much work you've put in, you know, have you ticked your goals? You know if you're bullshitting yourself. Exactly. You know, motherfucker. You can't lie to yourself. If you, if you don't do that fucking extra rep, or if you skip a rep or skip a set, and then it eats away at you at night. Like, fuck. Exactly. I love it. Fuck, I skipped a set. Fuck, I'm a little bitch. I exactly. Didn't fucking do it. And then it gets it gets in their head and then it just comes downstream full where they just stop even making goals. And mm. then yeah. where are they going? They get down. 
where's that timeline? What's happening? You know, mm. I'm always, you know, like you said, life doesn't always go to plan. You might not always get to that goal when you want it. You might not always achieve that thing in the day. Something might pop up. Oh my God. But can you improvise and adapt and then make the new goals for the next day yeah. and win your next day? Yeah.